Okay, we've retained another integral from the MIT Integration B quarterfinals, round one, problem one. We have the integral from zero to one, x to the fourth, one minus x squared over one plus x squared dx. Okay, I know a few different ways to do it, and I might even do a second video. I haven't really decided yet, but for this one, I think what I wanna do is kind of straightforward methods, start with some algebra. If I, to try to get some cancellation, I can add one and subtract one on the, on the x to the fourth. And then from here, what I want to do is split this up into two integrals. For the first one, I'm going to use the x to the fourth minus one and then bring everything else along. And then for the second one, we just have this plus one that I can distribute into this. So to create that second integral, now we're going to have a plus integral from zero to one, just all this stuff over on the right side. So it's going to be one minus x all squared, one plus x squared dx. And then what I'll do is just kind of work these in parallel. So for x to the fourth minus one, we can do this as difference of two squares. I can write this as x squared plus one times x squared minus one for this. Then doing it that way, we're gonna get cancellation of this term with this term. So then cleaning this up and rewriting it, we're gonna have integral from zero to one, x squared minus one. I'm gonna use difference of two squares on that as well and write it as x plus one, x minus one. And then we have this piece one minus x all squared. For the second one, for the second integral, let's just distribute out the numerator. So I'm gonna get one minus two x plus x squared all over one plus x squared. But then on this numerator, let me just reorder the terms a little bit. Then looking at it this way, just notice if I split this off here separately, we create a separate integral. We're gonna have an integral that's gonna be one as this matches this. Coming back to this left integral, let's just, I can reverse the sign on this because if you think about multiplying by minus one inside the parentheses here, because it's squared, it's not gonna change it. So I can just reverse the sign on this. But then this here is x minus one now, and that's gonna allow me to combine this term with this term, multiply them together, and then this becomes x minus one cubed. So now in this one, of course we could multiply it up, but I think I'll do a u substitution instead just to clean this up. So we'll have u equal to x minus one, x equals u plus one, dx equals du. So we'll go ahead with the substitution. First updating the bounds, we plug a one in, we get zero. We plug a zero and we get minus one. Plugging u plus one in here, this is gonna become u plus two. This simplifies to u cubed, and then this is just du. Over here, what's gonna happen, again, we have that cancellation with one plus x squared over one plus x squared. So this middle integral is just gonna be one, but we still have the minus two x. So we have one more integral. So now it's gonna be zero to one, two x over one plus x squared. On this first one, let's just distribute the u cubed back in. We'll have u to the fourth plus two u cubed. On this last one, we could do a u substitution, but I think let's just do it in our head. If you want to do the u substitution out, it would be this is u, but then the whole numerator is du. So when we have du over u, we can just use a formula and we know it's natural log of absolute value of u, but in this case, it's always positive. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna get natural log one plus x squared with this being the u value. So let's see if we can finish everything off here. We have power rule, so it's gonna be u to the five over five. This one's gonna be two u to the four over four, evaluated from minus one to zero. Integral of one's just x, so we have plus x from zero to one. And then here we're gonna use this value, natural log one plus x squared from zero to one. Now plugging everything in, you plug in a zero, that's all zero. Then plugging in minus one, we have another minus one when we evaluate. So plugging in minus one here, we have minus one fifth times minus one is positive one fifth. Here we just have two over four or one half. Distributing a minus sign, we have minus one half. Evaluating x from zero to one, that's just gonna be a plus one. Here we have plugging in one minus natural log of two plus natural log one plus zero, that's just natural log of one. Natural log of one is just zero, so that's going away. I'll just make a little space so we can add all this stuff up and see what our solution's gonna be. On all this stuff, let me just get a common denominator, put it together. So we're gonna have one fifth, all right, as two over 10 minus five over 10, one we can write as 10 over 10 minus natural log of two. Two minus five plus 10 is seven. So for my final solution of this, we just get seven tenths 
minus natural log of two, and that's it. Okay, there you go. Good problem from MIT 2023. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.